hey what is up guys what's going on welcome to another brand new video on kitchen tonic in this video today i'm gonna be making some jamaican styled fry dumpling this is also called johnny cakes but the original name for it was journey cakes as in going on a journey was originally intended for people to take with them while they're going on a very long journey and if they get hungry they can eat one of these cakes or dumpling because it's very fulling and somewhere along the line i guess somebody misinterpreted the word journey and started calling it johnny cakes but i digress from my history lesson to start off the ingredients we're going to be using for this recipe today are one cup of milk i'm using almond milk today you can use whatever milk that you have i have half a teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of baking powder two tablespoons of granulated sugar and two cups of flour and this is all the ingredients we i'm going to be using today to make this journey cakes this journey cakes guys this fried dumpling so let's get into making this dough okay guys so here we are you're looking at my two cups of flour i'm gonna go on in and place my sugar in here this is two tablespoons of sugar and this is also optional you can also add two tablespoons of butter to your recipe if you want but butter sucks up most of the the moisture from the ingredients and the cake can get a little crunchier but if that's what you like that's what you're going for by all means go for it here i have one tablespoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt i'm just going to use my hands as usual to go ahead and massage my dry ingredients in here and I'm gonna go ahead now and start adding my milk And you do want to add your milk slowly to this recipe. guys and like I said you do want to go ahead and add your milk slowly to this recipe here and you do want your dough to be a little sticky but you don't want it overly sticky so if that happens to you you may want to go ahead and add a little bit more flour to your mixture and that's why I said you should add your milk slowly because you don't want to add too much milk at one time that your dough becomes a little too sticky and I am gonna sprinkle a little bit more flour on my dough here because it is sticking a little too much but you do want it sticky to some degree but not overly sticky all right guys and after you finish with your dough I'm gonna place a damp piece of towel over my dough here and allow it to sit for about 30 minutes before actually beginning the frying process so right now I'm gonna place a damp piece of paper towel over my dough here and allow it to sit and then I'll come back when it's time to fry it. 
All right, guys, so here we are. My dough has been sitting for over 30 minutes while I prepared my ackee and sausage, but that's gonna be another video up on my channel. Be sure to look out for that, but I digress. Right now, we're gonna break off small dough balls and roll them into a perfect, almost perfect ball, and we're gonna begin frying these dumpling guys, these Johnny cakes. So guys, after you finish rolling your, rolling out your dough balls, you wanna place your, your dough balls into your hot oil, but you do not want your oil to be too hot because you don't wanna just cook the exterior and the interior of your fried dumpling not be cooked. So if your oil is too hot, you make sure that you reduce your heat to about low to allow this dumpling to fully cook, guys. Alright guys, and halfway through you want to flip your, your dough ball onto the other side so that the other side can cook as well. And basically what you're looking for is this nice and golden brown color that you see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off me, this dumpling and I'll come back when my cooking process is finished. Alright guys, and here we are, my finished product. Now, I managed to get six fried dumplings out of this recipe but you can probably get about 10 depending on the size that you make your dumpling. And guys, this dumpling is very soft. You can see it's very squishy. And let me just break this open so you guys can see what's inside. Look at that guys, look at that nice flaky inside. Nice and soft. So be sure to try this recipe guys and let me know what you guys think. But for now, Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys again for a brand new recipe another time.